Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are all having a great day so far today. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best money methods to do this week in GTA 5 Online. I'm actually going to be showing you guys a total of four different money methods that are going to be really good to make lots of money in GTA 5 Online as well as a good amount of RP. But yeah, as I always say, before continuing on with today's video, do me a big favor, go down below, drop a like. It only takes one second and it'll help the video gather to people who don't know about my YouTube channel already. But without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. So getting into the very first money method on today's video, what you're going to want to do is press the pause menu, go over here to online, go to play jobs, go to rockstar created, go to adversary modes, go up until you guys see vehicle vendetta. Now you guys can see vehicle vendetta street and also vehicle vendetta are both double money and double RP this entire week. Now they're both basically the same thing. They are a little bit different when it comes to the outcome of the pay. I'm actually going to be showing you guys the difference between how much they pay from vehicle vendetta and also vehicle vendetta street. But yeah, start up whichever one is the same setting for both ones. You're just going to want to put the first to win set to seven rounds and then you're going to want to put the team live set to 25 and then the actual game type is completely up to you, you guys can put a deathmatch or last alive is completely up to you like i said i'm going to put last alive because it makes the game last a little bit more longer you guys get a little bit more money that way but anyway once you guys are in this game mode it's actually very very fun especially if you guys have everybody in the game in the party trust me you guys are going to have a blast doing this and it also pays you guys a pretty good amount but anyway let me quickly let you guys know what this game mode is about in case you guys don't already know. So there's actually a total of 10 people in this game and there's two teams of five and it's going to be a deathmatch in vehicles. So whichever vehicle you guys chose, that's the one you're going to have to do in the deathmatch. So I recommend choosing a fast vehicle like the T20 or I also see a lot of people use the X80 Proto. But yeah, basically choose a fast vehicle and you're going around the map picking up a whole bunch of abilities like rockets, bombs, and a whole bunch of different abilities and you have to take each other out. The first team to lose all 25 lives is the team that loses and the team that doesn't lose all their lives is the team that wins. So here you guys can see, here's how much money you guys get per round. I actually ended up winning this round and winning team actually gets $20,000, losing team gets $10,000 and there's a total of seven different rounds and it's probably going to go a little bit more than seven rounds because it's actually first to seven, not a total of seven rounds. Now I also want you guys to keep in mind that the more rounds you do, the more money you guys will get. So I know the max amount of rounds you guys can set it to is seven, but you guys can go more than that because like I said, it's first to seven. So if the other team, let's say won a total of six uh, rounds and if if you won seven rounds then it's going to be a total of 13 rounds in total at the very end so that's just going to pay you guys way more and that's obviously you know more than the seven rounds that you guys actually ended up putting and that's just going to benefit you guys like i said you guys will get more money that way and also more rp it might take a little bit longer so if you guys don't want to spend you know a long time doing this mission i recommend setting it to something low like three or four rounds but yeah let me go ahead and skip forward show you guys how much you actually get paid at the very end you can see here i am i got the match winner and i got paid 178 thousand dollars and take a look at this rp it's insane i actually got 18,000, almost 19,000 rp literally leveled me up a whole entire level which is really cool you guys can for sure make a lot of rp doing this as well as well as a good amount of money you guys saw we almost made one hundred eighty thousand dollars. you can see here's the payout for everybody in the mission but yeah that was vehicle vendetta now we're going to be doing vehicle vendetta street now it actually pays you guys a little bit less so if you guys are looking into the money side of things i recommend doing vehicle vendetta unless you guys do a whole bunch of rounds on this if you do a whole bunch of rounds on this game mode i guess you can somewhat make the same amount of money as vehicle vendetta but this one is going to be if you guys get into the game mode because this game mode is fun like i said if you guys really get into it and you guys want to have like a good action-packed game i recommend doing vehicle vendetta street because it makes everything such close compact fights you guys have to literally fight everybody in the game so it makes it way more action-packed and way more fun so if you guys are looking to have more of a good time i recommend doing vehicle vendetta street and honestly it doesn't pay you that much less than vehicle vendetta it pays you just a little bit less than the uh, vehicle vendor to game mode but here let me show you guys right now how much the payout is so you can see round winner here's how much money you guys get per round which is the same amount as vehicle vendetta or right above right below it actually you can see sixteen thousand dollars is for the winning team and then losing team gets eight thousand dollars so it's just a few thousand dollars short and here's how much money you guys get at the very end you guys can see i ended up winning the match just like i did last time like i said i'm literally like a go with this game mode guys but anyway here you guys can see i actually got one hundred sixty four thousand dollars which is just short of 178,000 and then 17 R 17,000 RP excuse me which is only a thousand RP less than what we got in Vico Vendetta so it's not that big of a difference if you're trying to have a good time and actually have fun doing the game mode I recommend doing Vico Vendetta Street but at the end of the day it's up to you guys they both pay a really good amount of money but now let's go ahead and go on to the next money method on today's video 
So now getting into the next money method on today's video, we're going to be doing the time trial this week in GTA. If you guys do not know where this time trial is located, I'm going to show you guys right now. So you're going to want to go on your map and go right in front of the casino. That's where this week's time trial is going to be located. Once you guys have made your way here, I recommend getting a fast motorcycle this time, such as the Shitaro or Hakucho Drag or any fast motorcycle that you guys like. Once you get that motorcycle, get on it and you're just going to want to come to the time trial, click right D-pad. And then you're not going to want to move, you're just going to want to open up your pause menu and go over to wherever the yellow checkpoint is, which is going to be right here. Go ahead and mark it. Once you mark it, drop your pause menu, open up your phone, go right here to the middle, click it, and then click X and then A to quit the time trial. Once you've quit it, you're going to want to angle your Shitaro exactly like I'm angling mine right here. It's very important that you guys are angled the exact way. Once you're angled like this, whenever you're ready, you're going to want to click right D-pad to start it and go the exact route that I take. So come right here through the freeway, come a little bit over here to the right of that hill, and boom, it should be that simple. Now, I know it may be a little bit tricky because maybe you guys will hit traffic. It's fine. If you hit traffic, just restart. Now, what you're going to want to do is simply take the exact way that I'm taking. Go straight. Don't take that right that it tells you to take. Just keep going straight and then take a right right here on this street. Now, that, that little tip that I gave you guys right there is going to save you guys like two, three seconds, which is really important. And once you guys come up to this little corner here, also make sure you guys cut through through it it gives you guys a little bit more of an advantage but you guys can see i ended up crashing a little bit so don't crash like that but even if you do you should still be fine you'll come up to this point right here which is going to be the end of the time trial and then boom just go ahead and hit the end and you just finished and you got yourself 101 thousand dollars in only 56 seconds now you guys can't tell me that isn't the fastest hundred thousand dollars you've ever made but now let's go ahead and go on to the next money method so for this next money method i'm just going to let you guys know about it basically if you guys go inside of your nightclub this week in gta we actually have double Double the speed of the nightclub goods. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, if you come inside your nightclub, come to this computer right here, go over down to where it says uh, sell goods. You guys can see all these goods right here, which are basically the goods that are inside of your weed farms, your cocaine lockups, and all that. It basically shows on here. Now, this week in GTA, it's actually going to be double the speed of production for all the goods that you guys have inside of your nightclub. So, if you guys have, for example, supplies inside of your weed farm, you guys know it takes a little while for the supplies to turn into actual product for you to sell. But, like I said, this week in GTA, it's double the speed. But let's just say you have supplies inside of your weed farm. It'll basically, instead of taking 10 to 15 minutes to turn into product, it'll take less than that. So, it'll be like anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes to turn into product, which is going to be really good. And also, a real good tip I'm going to give you guys is if you guys actually go over here or to where the uh, warehouse technicians are and you click the warehouse technicians obviously you guys have to buy them I actually already purchased all of them but if you actually purchase one you guys can actually assign it to any single one of your businesses such as the organic produce you know the South American imports or whatever you guys want to and it'll make the production go two times the speed and you guys can sell it whenever you guys are ready and get a whole bunch of money now for some reason when I was recording this video I wasn't even able to load into an online session but I'm for sure gonna be making a video on this this weekend so look out for that i'm going to show you guys how much you guys can make from actually selling all of the product that you guys have inside of your warehouses as well as how fast the actual speed is for the production but yeah now getting into the last money method on today's video we're going to be doing the rc bandito time trial for this week if you guys do not know where this time trial is located you guys are going to want to make your way right here on the map it's like almost in the middle of the map of the middle of the city so once you guys make your way over here you're going to want to come up to the time trial and then click right on the d-pad to start it you will need to rc bandito to actually start it but once you guys started this one's actually pretty simple you just have to make sure you don't hit like the walls there's a lot of walls involved with this time draw you can see right here whole bunch of different walls that kind of scraped right against one right there so as long as you guys take your time and don't go too fast because if you guys go too fast on this one you're for sure gonna hit a wall and it's just gonna flip your rc bandito over and it's just gonna be horrible for you so just take your time and as long as you take your time and don't crash too much you guys should be able to beat it i actually crashed like three times and i still ended up beating it but here's how much money you guys will end up getting once you do end up beating the rc bandito time trial which is actually going to be one hundred one thousand dollars and it only took me one minute 39 seconds so i was pretty early and i crashed three times so you guys should be able to beat it but yeah that's actually going to be the last money method on today's video those are all the good money methods to do this week we don't have very much but these are the good ones that we have to do this week if you guys did go on to enjoy today's video do me a big favor go down below drop a like and also hit that subscribe button if you guys are new around here but like i said that's it for today's video hope you guys did enjoy and i will see you guys in the next video. Peace.